Hey, this is Ricky Kennerly Cichlids. I'm going to check out an amazing video. The African Cichlid Fry Aquarium. There's some amazing footage. And a few tips for those of you who want to learn some things you may not know. So stay tuned. The first thing I want you to see in this aquarium is the number of fry. The number of African Cichlid Peacock Fry. There's two varieties in here. We have a dragon blood mix where the male was a dragon blood and the female was either an OB or an icebreaker female. The other fish in the aquarium, now all offspring of those, that mix, came out looking yellow like a regular dragon blood. So it may take two to three months to see what those will turn out to be. Some of them will have spots like the OBs, and some of them hopefully will have a blue face. Now the gray fish, if you can, let me see if I can focus in here, zoom in. Some of the gray ones, in well all the gray ones in here in this aquarium, if you can look around and see some, there's some over here. Uh, those are icebreakers. So if you don't know what an icebreaker peacock is, it's just a name I gave my peacocks after mixing them several times and the results I got from them. So check out the video, icebreaker video, and you'll be impressed. What I want you to notice, they'll have a sponge filter and a canister filter. Your strainer should be important. Some strainers are too big for fry. This one is not. The flow is not too heavy for the fry. So if you can use a canister filter, feel free to do so. You can see the flow a little bit up there. It's pretty good. I do a water change once a week from 40 to 60 percent. And how I'm able to do that big of a water change without problems is most of the beneficial bacteria are in these sponges. So I don't change those out too often. If I do, I clean them out in old aquarium water. Now you see I have some Anubius in here. They'll do fine in fry aquariums. So when the fish get big, I move them out and I can still use them in the fry aquarium. They'll stay in here. The fry don't bother them. They help keep the algae off of them. And the Nubius is from Africa, so it is a, a plant that can be used with the African cichlids. But when they get bigger, the African cichlid peacocks, they will prevent new growth from forming, and your plant will cease to grow. As far as the temperature in this aquarium, you should keep it at 82 degrees. It's a little bit harder during the winter time. 82, de 82 degrees allows you to have the best growth rate for the fry. Warmer water has increased growth rate. As far as what I feed them, I feed them algae wafers. And in just a second here, I'll show you how they love them. Now, as we wait just a moment to have the fry gather around the algae wafers, I want to talk about the number of fry in here. Now, on how to breed African cichlid peacock video, I mentioned having a lot of females, so you can have, you can harvest a lot of babies at one time, so they'll be the same size in the fry aquarium. Now I did most of the fry was from the uh, dragon blood mix at the same time from multiple females and then I got a lot of fry from the icebreaker females they're a little bit smaller you don't want a big difference in size or you'll end up losing some of the smaller fry this bigger fry will kill off the smaller fry so you look here at how they are gathering around the algae wafers 
they'll eat more and eat for hours on these algae wafers more than they normally would because they think the other fish are going to get their food so just like dogs they will eat more than they normally would during this method they have high growth rate using the algae wafers it's really good for them once they get big enough where they can get a pellet in their mouth you can change to uh, sinking pellets but while they are fry I recommend the wafers so let's just take a moment to watch them eat the algae wafers now as you look around the screen here you can pick out some other videos you'd like to watch and thank you for watching Ricky Kennerly Cichlids